Okay, so welcome back to the Android Alarm Clock tutorial. Um, so today we will be um, starting the alarm um, process. And here um, is an overview of it. First, we have to create an intent, which um, you know tells us um, that it's going to go into the alarm receiver. Then we're going to create a pending intent, which delays the intent. And of course, we need to put a counter time, which tells us how long to delay the uh, pending intent. Um, and I believe first, um, before we do anything, we have to create an alarm receiver class that actually receives the intent. So let's do that first. Um, I don't think we've made it yet. No, we haven't. So let's create um, an alarm receiver class. And that's going to be, um, it's going to implement the broadcast receiver. So alarm receiver great um, and we are going to extend we're going to extend the broadcast receiver class broad cast receiver excellent and if we if I press alt enter it will automatically um, give us the right sub method excellent so um, for now, we are just going to um, not have it do anything, but we're going to have it log um, two strings. So we know that the receiver has worked. So, and we move, we run the emulator. Uh, we are in, we are in the receiver. Um, and the second string, yay. Excellent. So this will tell us that um, the receiver has worked. Okay, so we have done this. Excellent. So now we have to do this part. So first, let's make our intent. Mm -hmm. um, and we can make it here. So to make an intent, we have to um, first comment. Uh, it's so we don't forget what the intent is for. So um, intent, let's call it. Um, um, <laughs> I don't know. Just my intent <laughs> um, is a new intent, and we want to start off in this context. Remember, we created this thing earlier, and we want to have it go to the alarm receiver class. Uh, dot Java dot class and then let's just all enter this so import that class all right whoops this actually should go here well wow, these are actually I'm gonna have credit up here so we don't get confused all right so this intent um, creates intent to the um, alarm receiver class which does nothing right now, it just logs it into our log files. Um, so what we want to do is actually have a pending intent in the onclick listener because we only want to send the intent once the user has actually picked the time and so on and so forth. So, um, you know, we don't want to do it before when they haven't really picked the time yet. So I see that we have already um, got the hour and minutes before so I don't think we need to um yeah we already got the calendar part so we already did this last time in our last video so we only need to uh, we also did the intent Woohoo! so all we do now is the pending intent so where should we uh, do that we should probably do this um, create a pending intent that delays the intent until the specified calendar time. Um, so here we are, so we'll call our pending intent pending intent. Ooh, did we, were we supposed to initialize this earlier up here? Yes, we are. 
So we have to make a pending intent. Pending intent. There we are. So you have to initialize the first. And now it's happy. Okay, so um let me look at my notes. So we'll have to make a new class of pending intent. Ooh, we actually don't want to read and parcel. Sorry. We're a little crazy with the autocomplete. So just plain old pending intent. And we want to get a broadcast because um, this is the type of class that our our alarm receiver is. So you want to broadcast from this current activity, which is main activity. And this, I'm not sure what this, um, let's see what the uh, parameter, input parameters are. I'm actually curious. Come on. So it's context, request code, I will probably have to look at the manual, I can't see the rest of this. Oh, I see, request code, intent, and then some sort of flag thing. Um, I'm going to look at my notes and just do the normal one. That's sort of default. You can't go wrong with default, usually. <laughs> so you want to go from the main activity class, and you want to do sort of default zero um, request code, and then we have the intent. So what intent is it? Uh, it's the my intent. And any sort of flags and um, we actually want that. No, not flag immutable. We want flag update. So we can update um, it if we want to. But I don't think we ever need it. So those are just the sort of defaults. And so we've created our um, Pending intent. Woohoo! So let me just do that. So now all we do is actually set the alarm manager, which we haven't done yet. So let's do that right now. Um, so now that we have our intent, pending intent, our calendar, set the alarm manager. And since we are about to actually get this, um, I'm going to start the emulator right now. Because by the time we finish this, um, we'll be right, ready to run our application. So um, here you go. Let's set up the alarm manager. And this is how it works. I think we've already initialized our alarm manager up here. That's right. So it's alarm manager. Oh, and up here too. So we got the system service, which is alarm service. So let's just actually set it up here. So alarm, um, sorry, it's a little slow because the emulator just um, slows down my computer a lot. So we want to set it to first alarm manager, and we want to do the wake up, um, and we want to get the calendar and get time in milliseconds. That's when we want to send this. Um, and what pending operation? We want the pending intent. And this is it. And it should send. Oh, it should not send yet because we have not, because notice this um, broadcast receiver and the um, etc. this alarm wake up thing, we'll need to go to our manifest and give um, our app permission to do those things because, um, I don't know, I guess it's important because you can't just around, go around sending broadcasts and things willy-nilly, I, I guess. <laughs> so we want to call a receiver, uh, Android name, oh, and it's called alarm receiver. I think this should be it. I think, do I just need that? Yes. I think we're good. All right, and then, so we put the receiver into our manifest, and it should be ready to run. Let me look at my, okay, that's fine. So my emulator is running. This is good. So when we actually run this, we should see if it works, which I don't know if it will, we should see this log thing. We are in the receiver, yay, into our log um files. So let's just run it on our emulator. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so alarm on. Let's just look at the log error. Yes, we are in the receiver. Yay. So see this. This means it has successfully, alert, successfully worked. We have set the alarm and it went into the receiver. Um, and we have successfully uh, made this um, alarm service. Excellent. So now we know it works. So our next step, I suppose, will be to um, actually... Oh, and look, see, it actually does this. Yay. Um, so our next step... Oh, if we change this, I didn't forget to show it last time. But if we change like the time, this also changes. That's why we have to put into the on-click receiver, because people can change the time that they want. So, um, our next step, I guess, will be to, um, we'll actually add the cancel alarm receiver. Actually, we want to we change the alarm off button. Let's just have the cancel alarm here in case, like, we change our mind. And we're like, oh, I don't want to be woken up at 5.38 p.m we can just cancel the alarm. So let me just cancel alarm here, and that's pretty easy. Um, alarm manager, and we just do cancel the pending intent. Excellent. So we've done this. So now the alarm off actually reflects what happens. So um, in our next step, we'll notice that we are in the receiver, but um, Nothing actually happens, it just logs it. So our next step will be to actually have a ringtone service. So that's what we'll be adding in our next video, ringtone service. And then the video after that, we'll, be, we'll discuss how to actually program in how to stop the ringtone service. Because you don't want your alarms to ring forever and ever and ever. Alright, see you guys in my next video. Bye!